This is a roulette game where I will bet on three numbers. Currently the number 9, 20 and 29. Bets are placed according to the following, 1 bet per split, 2 per street, 2 per corner and 4 per 6 line, but no straight up bets. I will play this roulette game on this way, and revit the same bets for every new spin. Just have a quick look at the different paying numbers accorded to the bets placed. It is like 27 numbers covered with different pain ratio. So, by playing on this way I have much more than half numbers covered from the roulette table, some with a correct pain ratio. And others numbers with lower winnings, but still are giving something in return, and based on many spins, it can reduce the potential loss in case of unlucky spins. Of course, all depends of wheel spins, and this game can turn bad with a consequent loss, if, as example, the wheel spins a series of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 13 to 15, and 34 to 36, which will be like a nightmare scenario. But based on many spins, and the average range on numbers winning hits, playing like that can be efficient, and is usually a low-risk betting system. There is a possibility to get some quiet big wins by playing on this way, but, as I said before, all depends of wheel spins, which are random. But sometimes shows the same number or a series of losing numbers for consecutive spins. I have seen myself when I worked on casinos the same number getting hit for 10 or 20 consecutive times, it is rare, but happening. And just imagine if, as example, the number 0, or 1 got hit for 10 or 20 consecutive times. Then the game will end up with quiet big losses. And it is a possible scenario when playing roulette. So that is why I mentioned it. But usually, and based on the average wheel spins potential, such strategy works well and will go like up and down winning spins, but always near my initial cash balance I started the game with. Myself I will wait to be on a $100 winnings or over to stop playing this roulette game. You will see on this video that I got some bad series of unlucky losing spins, so then my cash balance will drop then consequently. But I will carry on playing like that, waiting for a series of winning spins after the series of losing ones. I just imagined that this game goes up and down from my initial cash balance, but always stay close to the amount I started to play with. If represented as a graph, I can feel confident when playing such strategy. Usually. I am saying usually, as I cannot predict any roulette spin, and in case of an unlucky series of losing spins, it can goes bad for my cash balance. But I am thinking about standard roulette odds potential, with all numbers having an equal chance to get hit by the spin ball based on several spins. It usually goes like that on roulette, and I hope so for the current game showed on this video here. Now let's play and wait for a series of winning spins giving me some extra cash as winnings, over a hundred dollars and it will be okay. I hope so. Does it seem strange to bet and rub but like that for every new spin? At my own opinion, no. It can be efficient. And all depends of wheel spins, but also about standard roulette odds potential, which is usually the same based on many, many spins. Now let's see what I can get from this game and betting system, plus the roulette random spins. Two 
Red player wins. 30. Red player wins. 6. Black player wins. 33. Black player wins. 9. Red player wins. 2. Black. 30. Red player wins. 10. Black player wins. 9. Red player wins. 4. Black player wins. 21. Red player wins. 7. Red player wins. 13. Black. 2. Black. 36. Red. 6. Black player wins. 24. Black player wins. 8. Black player wins. 18. Red player wins. 12. Red player wins. 17. Black player wins. 24. Black player wins. 34. Red. 12. Red player wins. 10. Black. Player wins. 18. Red player wins. 4. Black player wins. 27. Red player wins. 33. Black player wins. 6. Black player wins. 7. Red player wins. 11. Black player wins. 27. Red player wins. 31. Black player wins. 23. Red player wins. 36. Red. 21. Red player wins. 28. Black. Player wins. Five red player wins. Seven red player wins. Thirty four red. Twenty one red player wins. Seven red player wins. Thirty four red. 12. Red player wins. 19. Red player wins. 24. Black player wins. 0. 13. Black. 18. Red player wins. 24. Black player wins. 0. 36. Red. 3. Red. 27. Red player wins. 20. Black player wins. 19. Red player wins. 6. Black player wins. 2. Black. 36. Red 1, red 28, black player wins. 2, black. 6, black player wins. 30, red player wins. 29, black player wins. 9, red player wins. 
wins. 20. Black player wins. 22. Black player wins. 31. Black player wins. 0. 13. Black. 19. Red player wins. 20. Black player wins. 23. Red player wins. 14. Red. 4. Black player wins. 19. Red player wins. 8. Black player wins. 20. Black player wins. 24. Black player wins. 5. Red player wins. 23. Red player wins. Over $100 winnings and it will be enough. It will be done, and the game will be over. Okay, here it is. Well done. With such betting system I can feel like it is on a small wins and small losses graphic staying near my initial cash balance. On this video I got more higher losses than winnings if compared when I went down on cash, and then up over the initial one. But I am on profit without losses, and this is the main important thing for me when playing roulette. I hope you have appreciated watching this video. Thanks for watching Casino Tech.